Next, we'll take a look at the movements in your cool down sequence. The first is an upper back and shoulder release. Bring both arms up. One, uh, one elbow cups underneath the other, so this one stays stationary, the other one reaches up underneath. Cup that uh, elbow in the crook of your opposite elbow, and if you can, reach around and join your hands together. If you can just get one finger over, that's fine. I mean, you don't have to be palm to palm here. The main thing is to, to get this joint just enough so that uh, your forearms are glued together. When your forearms are glued together, I want you to reach out and forward, while at the same time driving your uh, upper back to the back wall. So, let's take, give you a side angle on that. Arms are driving out, the elbows are straight out, arms are nice and high, and that upper back is driving right back to the back wall. Contract track your abs really hard to get that. If you want to deepen it a little bit, you can squeeze your elbows together for a few seconds, press them into each other really hard, and then release that and reach a little farther forward. So, we'll go 30 seconds on that side, and then switch it up so the other arm comes up in front of you, and then the opposite arm reaches up and underneath. And again, don't worry, you can't get your, your hands flat here. If you just got a hook on the uh, heel of your palm, that's fine. Reaching the mid back to the back wall, elbows go out. That's the first movement. The uh, second movement is the table. So we'll do this right here in place. Drop down into a flat foot squat. Reach both hands back. Your fingers can be pointing towards your feet. Squeeze your uh, glutes nice and hard and drive those hips up. The goal is to get your, your hips in one plane in a nice even plane with uh, with your shoulders, neck is relaxed, chin is relaxed, but you're, you're focusing on opening the shoulder and arms here. If you're having trouble getting into that position, you can use a prop, you can use a set of stairs, you can use a box or a coffee table. Get your feet in here, grab your prop, walk your feet out a little bit to a comfortable distance, and then push up. So you take a bit of the depth out of the movement and you can gradually work your way down by using smaller and smaller props. From there, move on to a piriformis stretch. Down on your back, and uh, one knee comes up like you're, like you're sitting reading a newspaper on the subway, but you'll reach under and grab the grounded leg behind the knee, and as you lay down, neck, neck is nice and relaxed, lower back is flat. As you pull this uh, propping leg, you'll drive the knee of the opposite leg down. So this one pulls up towards your chest, this knee drives down while keeping your lower back flat. You should feel it right in here. This would be a really good loosener if you spend a lot of time at a desk. And then, of course, switch for the, for the next rep. Reach down and grab this grounded leg, flatten your lower back, pull it up, and then drive that knee down towards the back of the room. And then, finally, we'll, well, we'll stay down, actually, for the, for the shoulder bridge. Hands, if you can, the ultimate uh, expression of the shoulder bridge is to clasp your ankles. So, ankles, ankles are clasped, but you can't clasp your ankles. Take your shoulders, round them down, and drive, the, drive your shoulder blades together, and push your shoulders down towards your heels. You can support your hips and lower back. As you do this, squeeze your glutes, drive your hips up. The harder you squeeze your glutes, the more these hip flexors will open. Scrunch it down a little bit more, go a little bit deeper, exhale a little bit harder, and again, if, if you've got the range of motion to grab your ankles, you can grab them and, and pull in a little bit to deepen the stretch. And that's your, your cool down sequence.